Oh, I love this game. Cards Against Humanity is awesome. Yep, the Buccaneer edition is pretty sweet. Let's get another game going, shall we? All right. All right. South Dade State Champs in... Long Cafeteria Lands. Oh, true. Tall TV production teachers. He is tall. <laughs> Awkward hugging. <clears throat> um... Okay. Mm, football! Hey, oh, yeah, yeah that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right, next round. Hey. Starts now. Blink. Starts now. Certification. I wish. It's only... The zombie apocalypse. It's coming. It's coming. Awkward hugging. Good tide! Starts now. Good afternoon, Bucks. Today is December 13, 2013. I'm Gina. And I'm Lewis, and you're watching Riptide. On Friday, December 6th, South Dade's football players played against Palm Beach Gardens at the semifinals game and won 37 to 10. Go Bucks! Let's go to Lewis with a story on the amazing victory. Our football team took on the Palm Beach Garden Gators last Friday in the school's first ever state semifinals. It was a lightning event and the crowd was wild. Let's get into some of the highlights. The Gators were able to march down the field first and take the early lead with this one-handed grab by tight end Caleb Perez giving the Gators a 7-0 lead. The Bucks responded quickly with this touchdown run by quarterback Khalil Render to have a 7-7 tie going into the second quarter. The Gators were able to score again with this field goal, giving them a 10-7 lead in the second quarter. After the field goal, it was all South Dade, and it started with this touchdown from Khalil Render to Tyron Williams as he was able to break 50 yards and score the touchdown. The touchdown gave him a 14-10 lead. After taking the 21-10 jump start, South Dade quarterback Khalil Lender was able to make this big play after his offensive line gave him a huge hole. He was able to run 65 yards and score a touchdown, as this play showed his true athleticism as he broke away from the entire defense, giving South Dade a 20-10 lead. We get into the third quarter now, as South Dade quarterback Khalil Lender was just steamrolling Palm Beach Gardens as he was able to throw this laser to Kevani Francois for his second TD grab of the game. In the fourth quarter, Palm Beach Gardens was actually in South Dade territory, but was denied with this interception from Paris Mannion. He was able to make a long return as he was able to shake multiple defenders and made it to about the 50-yard line after getting tackled. This was the dagger for the game and led to a 37-10 victory over the Palm Beach Gardens. And as soon as the clock hit zero, the celebration began. South Dade was going to their first ever state championship game. Oh man, it feels amazing, man. You know, finally made the state for the first time. You know, it feels good to be in Orlando, baby. Woo! Yeah, I've been on here for four years. I'm a three-year starter, so we didn't put in lots of long hours. Tenth grade year, we had a horrible season. Bounce back. It's, it's, it's due. It's overdue. As they celebrated this one, they knew they had a tougher task ahead as they take on Apopka in the state championship final and are already preparing for the next game. Being humble, being humble, definitely. You know, we got the talent, everybody tells us we have the talent, we constantly hear it. But, you know, that's one thing that needs to go in one out here, one ear and out the other. Because we're going to compete how we want to, we have to be humble about it, and everybody has to keep doing what we're doing. Yeah, I'm truly blessed. Uh, like I said, uh, just having uh, supporting cast like this from, from top to bottom. Uh, these guys rally behind each other. We're family. Uh, that's what we talked about. It. That's what makes this happen. We wish the Bucks good luck this Saturday when they take on Apopka in our school's first ever state championship. For Riptide, I'm Luis Gonzalez. This past week, the Big Cheese held a community send-off for our football players who were on the road to states. They held a buffet-style dinner for our amazing players to wish them luck at states. Let's go to Brittany, who was there to help support the boys. <laughs> On the eve of the trip to their first state championship finals in school history, varsity football players gathered with members of the community, family, and friends. The Big Chiefs provided our boys with one last big dinner to unify them and wish them good luck. Last night, the band, Dashing Dolls, and cheerleaders all came to support the football team. Well, it's a great event. Um, the guys out here gathered as a family. Helps us go out with a big bang to go to be on the brink of history. The 
be a great opportunity for our community and for our students at South Dane. Oh, you know, it get our minds ready, you know, get our stomach full, have a little nice dinner out here, you know, get everybody going. Yeah, you know that, uh, you know, just seeing the whole community support out here in our school, you know, everybody who's in for us from day one, it's great support. Uh, we have a lot of support from the community and uh, from the school. It just, it just feels like, what we do, I don't even know, it just feels like a dream, but... It's just, uh, I don't know, it's just a good feeling, you know, knowing that we have a lot of support. First, we had a lot of doubters, and now we have everybody here with us, so it's a good feeling. First of all, I'd like to say good luck, team. You guys have played phenomenal all year. I've known these guys since ninth grade till 12th grade, and I see someone develop, and Coach Hudson has done a hell of a job with these guys. I appreciate what you've done and play from your heart. It's from Conde. You know what it is. You know what it is. Um, I think it was I think it was big for them, and I think uh, these guys needed something like that because, you know, we, we weren't able to do a pep rally, which for many reasons, but to see the support that they got out here and with the band and the cheerleaders and all the stuff on the videos, and, you know, they don't realize how many people are out there really supporting them until something like this happens. I thought it was great, inspiring, motivational. Uh, the guys really got pumped up. Uh, it was a fantastic night for the uh, Buccaneer family. And, um, you know, I'm excited about it. Uh, obviously, you guys are excited about it. And we want to bring home the state championship. The night included a video presentation featuring highlights and good luck wishes from students and staff. You can do it. Awesome win, and we'll see you on Monday. Woo! Be walking as the newly 2012 crowned 8A football champions. Congratulations, and go Bucks. It also featured a special message from a former Buck and NFL champ, Antral Roll. I love you. I love you, South Bay. Go out there and bring home that trophy, and I will be there to celebrate with you. In the um, The video was pretty good. You know, I, I thought there was a lot more people than I thought would, would get come on the video and, and say some really nice things about South Bay, South Bay football in general. Um, obviously, and Trail Roll's uh, speech was really, really nice. Some, a surprise that you know we didn't know was coming. Um, um, I thought I thought it was a really nice touch at the end that, that he's you know supported Coach Hudson and what he's doing. And at the end of the day, these kids really support everything that's going on in this school. Oh, you know, it was great. You know, seeing everybody supporting us. You know. We liked it. We loved it, actually. You know, more motivation for us, you know, seeing that, seeing, that, seeing everybody behind us 100%. Superb. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of being here at the school, representing, just like the rest of us. Uh, I was inspired. Uh, it just lets you know the support that we have, and, and I'm proud to be here. It's been a great night with the players, reminiscing about our successful season. We watched videos of people from South Dade wishing them good luck. Well, this is it, Bucks. Bring home the ring. With Riptide, I'm Brittany. This morning, South Dade held our own send-off for the players. Our cheerleaders, band members, and staff lined up to see the boys off. Alongside the roads, community supporters lined up as well to wish our boys good luck. Let's go to Diane, who was there to send the players off. We're here at the final send-off, just moments before our football team hits the hashtag Road to Orlando. They've had a hearty breakfast, and the cheerleaders and band are here to say their farewells. We've all wished our football team good luck, and the community has lined up the streets to say their final goodbyes to Homestead's number one team. Good luck, South Dade. Bring home that ring. For Riptide, I'm Diane.
Tuesday, December 10th, our school held a youth empowerment seminar aimed to better our community. That sounds awesome. Let's go to Veronica with the details. Tuesday, December 10th, the Youth Empowerment Summit took place. Ms. Gomez and several peer leaders educated the public on our community. The night began with an ensemble piece by the drama students called Soup Kitchen. In the night, our peer leaders touched upon several topics, including sexting, human trafficking, and bullying. They assessed these concerns and ways in which students and parents can help educate and stop these situations. One of our own peer leaders, Luis Gonzalez, spoke to us on the go for the night. Well, this event, or the event was to raise awareness of the problems that were in our community and that are in our community. Um, and it was to basically create community change, to show people there's outlets for these issues and uh, ways that they can help with the problems. Tonight was an enlightening event for the students. For Riptide, I'm Veronica Franco. This week, Salad Day held the senior breakfast for our class of 2014. Not only was the food fantastic, but everyone had fun finding out who the winners of the senior superlatives. One of our own seniors, Lewis, was there to get an inside look at this fun event. We're here at the Senior Breakfast for the class of 2014. As a part of this event, seniors ate breakfast together with their friends and senior superlatives were announced. Monday morning, the Senior Buccaneers were able to get out of their classes and participate in the traditional Senior Breakfast. The cafeteria quickly got packed as the numerous seniors gathered to enjoy the opportunity to share a meal with their fellow classmates. Well, the food's really good. I mean, there's like, we have pancakes, eggs, bacon, sausage, uh, and the hash browns. It tastes really good. Um, so happy Miss J did all of this for us. This food is delicious. Real good. <laughs> the food was pretty decent. Good job, Miss J. Another big part of the event, and the main reason most students attended, was the announcement of the senior superlatives. Congratulate those seniors who won the superlatives today, and we hope the spirit continues on for the rest of the year. For Riptide, I'm Luis Gonzalez. On Saturday, December 7th, our community held our annual rib fest at Harris Field. A lot of people came out and enjoyed some awesome ribs. Let's go to Lewis with our story. We're here at the City of Homestead's annual rib fest for 2013 at Harris Field. At this event, there's dozens of vendors, a wonderful charity event for the children, and a bunch of delicious ribs. This is for the Kids Foundation hosted the event to unite the local charities and to benefit them. Well, this is for the Kids was founded to help other charities in our community uh, come together. Basically, we, we hold this event and all the money we raise will go directly to four of the charities that we're representing today. The rib vendors not only participated to compete, but also to help the charity. We come back because it raises money for patches and for the handicapped to help the kids. Um, a lot of charitable events that we do, I enjoy doing them. We always know it's good to help somebody. The children weren't the sole beneficiaries as everybody had a great time. Wow, it's been a great day so far. We uh, came all the way from downtown Miami. We uh, found you guys on Florida festivals and events and uh, been pleasantly surprised. The food has been uh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, the, the music is great. Everything's been wonderful so far. Yeah. The judges tallied up their scores after eating all the ribs, and the winner of the rib competition was Charlie's Barbecue. Oh man, it feel wonderful. I had to come back and redeem myself and get second place last year. Now I got first year, real, real master champion. So congratulations to Charlie's Barbecue on their victory in the rib competition. Today was a wonderful event with a lively atmosphere and extremely delicious ribs. For more information on this year's Rib Fest and other city-sponsored events, go to www.cityofhomestead.com. For the City of Homestead, I'm Luis Gonzalez. Well, that's all for today, Bucks. I'm Gina. And I'm Luis. Stay tuned through the credits to see our students and staff wish the boys good luck this weekend. South Day, what's up? It's your boy here at Antra Road, the New York Giant, former South Bay Buccaneer. That's where it all starts. I want to say congrat, congrat, congrat. I take my hat off to you guys, man. You guys have done it. Well, you almost done it. Still one more game left to go. 
Nothing, and I mean nothing matters unless you bring this trophy back to Homestead, back to South Bay High School where it belongs. Stay focused. You've got what it takes. I believe in you all. You all believe in yourselves. And more importantly, everyone in the homestead, in the South Bay area, in South Miami, period, believes in you all. Go out there and make it happen because you guys can bring it home. Remember, we will fight till we can't fight no more. And when we can't fight no more, we won't lay down. We will beat a while and get up and fight some more. Coach Nate, you are the man. None of this, and I mean none of this, would be possible without you. I know it firsthand. You have made these guys reach a level that I'm sure that they never even thought they could reach. You've helped me reach a level that I never thought I could reach. So, you know, I thank you as a brother, as an older brother, as a friend, as family, and more importantly, as my mentor. I love you. I love you, South Dade. Go out there and bring home that trophy, and I will be there to celebrate with you in spirit. Take care. Bring it back. I'll at you. Hey Bucks, what can I say to my guys? I love you all. I've watched you growing up. I'm so proud of you. Can't wait to see you at States. Um, can't wait for you guys to bring that ring home. And thanks Buck Pride. And look at our giant Jinx doll here just for you guys. Hey, I want to wish the South Dade Varsity football squad good luck on their state in Orlando. Go Bucks! I know you can do it. Go South Day, you can do it. Um, I know you can do this. You, you will do. You will win this all. Let's go, Bucks! Good evening, Buck football players. I've been announcing for 10 years. I've been here for 15 years. This is the best Buccaneer team ever. And I'm going to be there on the sidelines watching you. I wish I could be talking, but they won't let me. So I'll see you. I'll see you there. Go Bucks! Defense, it's up to you, babies. You got to be tough because they're a tough offense. Good luck. Go Bucks! I'm wishing the uh, varsity football team sincere luck. Uh, like a bridge over troubled water, have no troubles over the water that you're about to embark upon. Amen. <laughs> Good luck, Bucks. I hope you have a awesome win, and we'll see you on Monday. Hey guys, I hope you have a good game and um, congratulations on making it this far. I know you guys are going to bring it home. Congrats Bucks on the uh, awesome year so far. This is the furthest you guys have ever made it and you guys are on a roll. Um, and I don't think that anybody can stop you. A popka that can't hang. Hey Buccaneers, to all the football players, I wish you the best of luck. This is a game for a lifetime to remember. You are already winners in my book, but I know you're going to get the state championship. Good luck. All right, Buck Nation, we're getting ready to do this. Congratulations to the Bucs, and we head into the state. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. We're hoping for a great season. I'm hoping to see on TV I won't be able to go, but good luck, guys. I'm looking forward to it. Go! go. We want to take this time to congratulate you guys on your regional win and I want you to bring it on home so I could take down the picture of Northwestern like you guys always complain to me and I can put up a picture of the Bucks as state champions. So if you want the picture to come down, bring it on home this weekend. Go Bucks! First of all, congratulations guys for making it this far. It's quite an honor to be able to represent South Dade High School in the state championship football game. It's going to take a, a team effort, protect the football, have fun, play hard, and bring back the victory, guys. Good luck. Good luck, boys, at the game, and don't lose. South Day, this is your year to win. This is the year that if you say you can, you will. And we will, yeah, for South Day! I believe in the books, 100%. They're going all the way to states. All the way, all the way. They got this. Go books. Well, to all the football players, good luck, you guys. I hope you guys win steak. Bring it home. Um, good luck, South Day. Bring it home, Bucks. Yeah. It's been awesome watching you guys all year long, man. It's made this year incredible for me. Uh, Pop Kahoo, you're going to do it. Uh, Congratulations to the South Day Buccaneers football team of 2013 to 2014. Good luck on Saturday. And I'll be cheering you guys on and hope you guys do a great job and win. You guys got this. Hey, Bucks. 
just a good luck wish from Miss Akram at the ticket booth all the time. Bring home that trophy. I know you're going to do it. Go Bucks. Okay, guys, good luck this weekend. I hope you guys do amazing and bring home the state trophy and bring your rings back home. Hey, guys, I wish you the best. Be positive, and we're going to win. We're going to be number one all the way. Yeah! Yeah. Hey guys, I am so incredibly proud of all of you and love you all so much and I my heart is with you. Every single one of you guys have always warmed my heart and made me smile and just know that I'm there with you in spirit. It, this is just one of many, many successes that await all of you and all the other successes will begin just as soon as you get back with those rings so we can continue on all the college stuff for my seniors. Love you all. Bye. Hey Buccaneers. Want to wish you lots of luck at your game on Saturday. You're making history. Coach Hudson, good luck. You've worked hard. Your kids have worked hard. This football team has been phenomenal. We're looking forward to placing them in many universities and colleges. Good luck, guys. Love you. Can't wait for the game on Saturday. I just want to wish the Bucks a, a good game because you guys have done a good all season and we're going to bring it home, all right? I wish the football team good luck in states. Good luck out there, Bucks. You know we're going to win. Bring this one back for the team. Buck Nation, kick a pock, buck, uh, whatever their name is. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, congratulate Coach Hudson, your staff, and the players at South Dade Senior High School for this tremendous accomplishment. 60 years of rich football tradition, and you're the first team to be able to accomplish this. So congratulations. Players, next couple days I want you to take – little time to yourself, find a place where you could uh, think about this great accomplishment. It's something you're going to be remembering for the rest of your life, stories you'll be telling your kids and your grandkids. And Monday, when we all walk back into our building, through our hallways, we'll be walking as the newly 2012 crowned 8A football champions. Congratulations and go Bucks.